Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with MioXFu. And last time, we got assaulted by a very tall, a very gray, and not a very good looking man. Who looked kind of like Vulcan from Metal Gear Solid 3. Door lock service. All side doors locked. These doors can be, doors can be unlocked by a card key. We'll use the blue card key. I will indeed. Please work. Yeah, there we go. Now we can go back to those the officers' offices, ah, and we can access that second floor door as well. But now, tall gray and I'm gonna keep calling him tall gray and ugly. <laughs> now he can uh, access them as well. I did not see this before. So this is what you guys were yelling at me about. Uh, I didn't notice it because I actually thought it was a stack of books on the side of, uh, just on the, on the side of the desk. A grenade launcher. So that's what those acid rounds are for. Cool. Where are you hiding it? Claire? Where are you hiding it? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I didn't really make fun of Leon for the same, but whatever. My, for, my only experience with Resident Evil besides a cursory look at 4 when I was at a friend's house and playing a little bit of 5 with a friend at college were early Flash animations by Mr. Joseph Blanchett, also known as Legendary Frog. Actually, can we go out front? Oh, we can. I can't remember if there's anything out here, but... Did I introduce the episode? Welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Re Resident Evil with Mio Fu. Did I introduce that? Well, I did now if I didn't before. <laughs> Anyhow. My only other introduction was were some early Flash... cartoons by a Mr. Legendary Frog, and one of the lines was... I can fit a grenade launcher in my pants. <laughs> I think it was supposed to be said by that guy from, uh, the guy with the longish hair. Oh, oh, get off, get off, get off. I thought I could run through that bush. The guy from the longish hair from Resident Evil Zero. Yes, I know some things about the Resident Evil games now. I had to look a little, a few things up so I knew where they fell and stuff like that. So I know that Rebecca and that guy that we found pecked to, to get to death, I think his name is Forrest. Are the lead are the main characters in Resident Evil Zero, or something like that? I don't know. I don't know that much about it, but. <laughs> oh wait, can we talk to the security guard now? That's uh, stuck up in here. Maybe. It's locked from the inside. Okay, so that stays the same. He talked to Leon. Talk to Leon, not Leon, anymore. Now he's like Ponce de Leon. <laughs> think that was, that he was a Spanish explorer, wasn't he? I don't know, I know him from Clone High. Anyway, those uh, Legendary Frog animations. I love them. You should go check them out. Get off of me. At least it's easier than going in the other door. But Claire's still taking a bunch of damage. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Okay. Okay, one more bite, maybe. Okay, okay, get these guys off, and we'll try... No, that's a death. Damn it. They're, they are quite gruesome deaths. I do like that about this installment, as opposed to the original. Because you never really got the sense that, oh, well, they were gruesome or anything. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I thought Claire could do it. I thought she could do it. I guess not. Again, it was kind of my fault anyway. I didn't, uh... Try to push on by or anything. I just tried to... Well... I just tried to take them all on. 
Sorry, I'm thinking to myself as well. So acid rounds. Grenade launcher, maybe? I hope so. Otherwise, I mean, why have them at all? Get on. Yep, there we go. Won't even bother with the zombies this time. Just gonna try to get this stuff done quickly. So there's nothing out front. And we need to go back in through there. Do we? I'm trying to remember if the, there was anything in that room with the liquor or not. I don't think so. So I guess we can actually uh, neglect that way for now and just uh, go on our merry way through the rest of the precinct. No, I do want to use the computer. Yeah, let's unlock the doors again. You know, kind of feel like I would like to progress in this video instead of just dying over and over again. Alright, so now I have a plan. I'll go through another door. Actually, now that I think, now that I say that, I remember that I opened two doors. I opened the door down here, but I also opened the door on the second floor. I'm gonna try this one first. Hopefully, this is the way I meant to go. Oh! Well, he's not all up in my grill like those other guys. At least. Oh, there he is. trying to get there, though. <laughs> no, no, Claire. <laughs> that, whoever that is, they can wait. <laughs> You've got more important things to deal with than, uh... These guys. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> I keep forgetting to talk because I'm, I'm, well, dealing with zombies. Okay, that guy's bleeding out. That guy's gonna... Oh, no, he's not gonna grab my feet and try to chomp on me. He's dead. Uh, is this a memo that we have to read? Police memorandum. Recent movement of equipment. Aha! Two two three six. It wasn't two two three. It wasn't two three five five. I was close. Not quite. Can we do anything with the police? Or it's not a police box. It's a mailbox. Can we do anything with this post box now? No. Okay. And nothing over here. Might as well throw the increments in while we got while we have the supply box. Jeez. So much time without a supply box, and now we just get hit by two in a row. <laughs> Alright, I feel like I'm getting the hang of Claire now. I feel like... Well, I haven't even tried the... <laughs> yes, I will use the lockpick. Oh man! I don't even have to use... Small keys anymore. That's... That's great! Oh man! That was actually one of my least favorite things about Resident Evil 1 and Leon's story, that I had to use small keys and backtrack to where there might be a locked drawer or something. Funny thing is, there's probably... Well, one of them, Claire or Leon, would have had to unlock it first. So either Claire left shotgun shells, or Leon left a first aid spray. Both of which, both of whom should be quite ashamed for for such... Such, uh, oversights. Although it lets me live longer. No, I want to know, head is missing, it seems to have been twisted off. Indeed. I wonder who could have done that. A liquor, perhaps? Actually, wait a minute. Liquors don't do that. So was it perhaps Mr... I'm, he's kind of like a golem. <laughs> like, that's what I'm really thinking of when I think of him. So was it Mr. Golem, then? 
Not not Gollum like Smeagol Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Gollum as in G-O-L-E-M from Jewish mythology. <laughs> Especially just the way he was dropped in, it's like, it kind of reminds me of uh, the golems from, uh, what was it, the Terry Pratchett movie. I don't remember the name of it, but it's the one where the con man has to run the postal service. Howdy, boys. Don't hope you don't mind that I'm taking over here. I also hope that they didn't come in behind me, but it doesn't seem like it, so. We're all set. Oh, what are you doing shooting me? That's not very nice. It's just... <laughs> they're groans. They're kind of ridiculous. Alright, now if I remember correctly, I also don't want to get near to those windows, because the zombies will grab me. At least the first time. I don't remember, it's been a long time since we've been in here, so... Oh, jeez, come on, Claire. Keep bringing a knife to a zombie fight. What are you? I'm expecting... <laughs> now that he's popped up, the golem, I'm expecting him to be around every corner. Empty soda cans... My first thought was like, wait a minute, this isn't Resident Evil 3. We're not being chased by a nemesis already. Alright, so this is the operation report for the zombies attacking. Basically, relocating weapons to different places and then the weapon cache in basement or is it the photo room that the weapon cache is I don't know we couldn't get it open with Leon maybe we'll be able to with Claire because she has that swag lockpick <laughs> Jesus it's just a, it's just a safety pin too come on Leon I think you can do better than that so I really wonder if Claire's actually supposed to be like a biker chick or something like that. I don't know, it just seems like... Well, it seems kind of funny that Chris is the police officer and she's the sort of rough-and-tumble type, if that is the case. Ah. Well. That's a puzzle we can't do. Title is A Sacrifice to the Hellfire. Yeah, too bad we can't sacrifice it to the Hellfire. Oh well. <laughs> no skin off my bones. Alright, now this is the t point when somebody breaks into the office. And I, s and I scream, HE WANTS THE SKIN OFF MY BONES! <laughs> Maybe I, maybe, maybe if I go around here, maybe I'll get the shot. There the chance to say that. No? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we couldn't do anything with this, could we? It's dark inside. I wonder if that's just something that I missed with, uh, Leon or... No, because I tried using the lighter on it, but <laughs> to no avail. No clue. Maybe it's just something I'll... I, I, I won't really get. Hmm. No zombies in here. And there's a safe room. Right in there. Well, let's get some green herbs while we're, while we're waiting. Yes, combine them. I have a feeling that I'm just going to have a lot of green herbs at the end of this because whenever I end up getting hurt as Claire either I barely get hurt I get grabbed once or I die that seems to be the general trend so ah oh, thank god I was, I was I would not be surprised if they started breaking their trend of uh 
well, the save room's actually being safe. <laughs> it would have been terrible if they had, but I wouldn't have been surprised. Yes, I'm gonna save. Of course I'm gonna save. I know it's only been a few minutes, sort of, but... We're, we're all the way ac across the precinct, so... Is that something on the desk that I can take? No, it's not. Nope. Leave those ink ribbons out of it. Alright, we want to deposit... Nope. We want to deposit those. Deposit the herbs. I should probably deposit the knife at this point, too, because I'm probably not going to use it. <laughs> it's locked. A special kind of key is required. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But this time, it's not saying we can't open it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I couldn't remember if there was anything. It's dark. It's a dark room. I can't quite see everything. I can develop film here. Okay. Couldn't remember if there was actually film in here already or not. It looks like there is right there, but I guess not. Oh, that's a fan up in the top left. I thought it was a picture of, like, a doll, a doll or something. I don't know. <laughs> what time is it? Time for me to get a watch. I, I'm gonna call it an episode. I have no idea how long I've been in this episode, so... Next time, uh, we can go upstairs or we can backtrack a little. Hmm. Let's see, map. Yes, that one. Hmm, <laughs> that leads to the back way into that uh, room where the officer locked himself off. If we go up, I believe there's a door that we can open with Claire, because we couldn't open it with Leon. And... Oh no, that might be the room that we have to blast the wall out of. We have to blast the wall out. We have a grenade launcher. Oh my god, things are coming together. I do want to explore a bit more of the precinct, though, before I go back, because I feel like as soon as I blow open that wall, shit's gonna get real. <laughs> so... Hmm. I guess we'll go this way next time. Next episode. <laughs> She's a ghost! <laughs> next episode. Uh, next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio X Fu. Take it easy, guys.